All right, boys and girls, it is a month until the NCAA tournament. There was, there's no recap. There was no recap this week. Um, didn't feel like doing it because this is the important stuff now. We are in that time period to where it's like, hey, NCAA teams that aren't, that aren't you know, locked up for a tournament bid. You guys need to work. You guys need to get some W's to get to a tournament for 2020. And what better way to talk about the bubble watch than to go over some of these teams right now? Um, and I have the ESPN article with me to, as a guide. Um, so, you know, right now, let's take a look at the big conferences first, the big seven first off. Um, the ACC right now looks like this. Apparently, apparently, I, I really did not realize this, but apparently there might only be three teams from the ACC that get to go to the tournament right now. And it, yeah, those locks are Duke, Florida State, and Louisville. Um, right now, Virginia Cavs are listed under one of those teams that have some work to do. You know, but it, it, it's like, I think there'll be like a 12 seed or something like that right now. That's what it's saying here. Um, but it could be the NIT for Virginia. Um, NC State also, they, they got to, they gotta you know, get something going late in the season. Um, like, oh, like, they got to beat Duke this week. Um, so that should be very interesting. So it could be only five teams from the ACC that get in. Not a very good, not a very good look for this conference. Um, but Duke, Florida State, Louisville, you guys are looking very good. Your guys, y'all are gonna be like well, those three teams. There are gonna be like top seeds in the field at some point. But it looks like right now it could only be five teams from the ACC, and even then it might only be three. Maybe four. NC State has a lot of work to do. Uh, Big 12, Baylor, Kansas, West Virginia, those three are in, along with Texas Tech. Uh, maybe Oklahoma. They gotta, you know, win a couple more games first. Um, but Texas Tech should be fine. Oklahoma should probably be fine. I mean, and that'll pretty much do it for the Big 12. There's not really much there. It's a lot weaker this year, um, the conference is. And I already talked about all five teams. I think all five are going to go to the tournament anyway. So, and Baylor, congrats again. I think they'll probably be the number one seed overall. I don't I don't know if Baylor loses another game until the conference tournament at least, unless, unless there's a Kansas game somewhere in there where it's like, hey, Kansas could beat Baylor. But other than that, you know, I don't know if a Kansas win I don't know if a Kansas beating Baylor is enough to, like, you know, lift Kansas to that overall number one seed. Um, it's it's really a neck-and-neck neck fight right there. Uh, but that's enough about number one seeds and stuff right? like that. We've already talked about that a couple weeks ago. Uh, Big East. Big East is very simple, honestly. Um, there's a lot of teams that should be in, a lot of teams with a lot of work to do. Seton Hall is in. Creighton, you are also in. Villanova, Butler, Marquette. You guys are in. Xavier has a little bit of work to do, though, and so does Georgetown. Georgetown's non-conference schedule was absolutely atrocious. I commented on it back when it was released in, like, I don't know, it was, like, June or July or August or something like that, and it was not it was not good. It was disgusting. Uh, so they need a lot. And Georgetown's 15 and 10 right now. They need a lot to go their way, and who knows? And there's a lot of teams to Big Ten that could be in. The, there could be as many as 11 teams to Big Ten that could be in. Maryland and Penn State, Michigan State, Iowa, Ohio State, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Rutgers. I think those teams will be in. But especially Maryland and Penn State, those teams, they have definitely locked up their bids with some great play. Yeah. Now, Purdue's a team that looks like they had a little bit of work to do. They're 14 and 13 right now. Um, 
probably going to need a couple wins somewhere down the line. Maybe in the Big Ten tournament as well. Indiana, Minnesota. Also, Minnesota is 12 and 12, so I don't know if they're going to get in. And consi considering that there was teams that were like. Last year, for example, my very own Texas Longhorns, which was 16 and 60, and were still in consideration for the NCAA tournament, which was just disgusting. Um, but um, yeah, uh, Minnesota has a lot of work to do, to be completely honest with you. Um, along with Indiana, along with Purdue, and they have a little bit of work to do. It, it, it should it, it should be it should be you know interesting, um, but it, but Indiana did lose the Michigan pretty badly up there in Ann Arbor. Um, Pac-12 in the meantime, I think there's like maybe like five or six teams that are going to be in uh, pers my personal opinion. Um, Oregon's a lock, obviously. Colorado should be in. Arizona should be in. Um, uh, these are the teams that are listed under work to do right now. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't. I think these teams could be in as well. Probably more than likely, USC, um, Arizona State, Stanford. Stanford really hasn't looked too great lately. They had a. They were like fifteen and two like a month ago. Now they've lost a bunch of games in Pac-12 play. They lost like seven of the past days in Pac-12 play right now, and they're not looking too good. So, what about the SEC? What about the SEC? Well. Realistically, it's the SEC. SEC really hasn't really been like this basketball school or anything like that. But I think you know the Auburn's should be in. They only have what three or two or three losses on the season. Kentucky obviously should be in because they're Kentucky. LSU should be in. I mean they have played like greatly this year, and I think. On the work to do line, there's a, little, a couple of teams that are here. Florida's one of them. They've had some good wins, but they've also had some losses that are just kind of bleh. Um, Mississippi State. I really didn't think about Mississippi State because I mean, there, there's not 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 really much to say about Mississippi State because I haven't watched them all year. Um, Arkansas is a team, also, you know, um, they like they were. Like they were like Stanford, had a really good record at the beginning of the season. Now they're just like, oh, this is not good. Alabama is, inter is entering the bubble watch. Um, South Carolina, they were in. That's they were in to me at some point last week, but apparently now they they need some W's. So they were in my mind last week. Now they need some W's, um, but I think. The SEC is probably going to get three to five teams in. I don't know who these other two teams could be that get in, but there's a lot of work to do, and there's a lot of teams that should be in consideration. Let's go to the American. Um, Cougars should be in. Houston Cougars, they have played greatly this year, and then they played pretty damn good. Um, sure... Um, and there's not a lot to say about Houston, though. I really, don't, I really haven't watched them that much this year either. Um, I may try and watch them later on in the season, but right now, nothing that I can say about Houston. Nothing I can really say about the American at all. Um, I think there should be like maybe one, not one, but maybe three to six teams that should be in for the American. And what? What this ESPN article about the bubble watch is saying that Wichita State has a lot of work to do, Cincinnati has a lot of work to do, Memphis has a lot of work to do. Um, nothing on Tulsa at all. So, who knows? So, maybe it could be four teams in the American in the tournament. Uh, nothing on SFU either, I don't think. I didn't see that there. So, who knows what's going to happen there. But if it's just four teams in the America, that's totally fine. You know, it's the American Athletic Conference, more of a basketball conference anyway. Um, in the meantime, in the other, other, other teams' situation, the other 25 conferences that really, that really have not done much, to be completely honest with you. Gonzaga, San Diego State, Gonzaga and San Diego State are one seeds, Dayton, two seed could potentially become a one if 
things work out in their favor. You know, BYU is a team that should be in. I don't know how, but they, they, they should be in. They got a big test against Gonzaga on Saturday, so that should be very telling. I don't think Gonzaga's going to I don't think Gonzaga is going to lose game to the tournament if they lose the tournament at all. Um, Rhode Island, another team that's very you know interesting right now. The only other team from the Atlantic Ten that I think could be in. Um, I know there was like a couple of other teams too on the A ten that I think could potentially be in. But we all know that's probably not going to happen. Uh, but um, they they Rhode Island defense is pretty good. Pretty interesting defense there. Um, in the meantime, there's a lot of teams work to do. St. Mary's is one of them. Um, they, 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 they just got to, you know, they just got to do something. They just got to do something a little bit more. You know, they got to beat Gonzaga, I think. And that'll, I mean, they're probably already in the tournament anyway right now. Um, but. A, a win against Gonzaga really helps, and that's going to be at the very end of the season. Northern Iowa is also a team that's kind of there, um, along with Utah State, um, Utah State especially, because um, I think Mountain West is looking like a one-bit league right now. Um, East Tennessee, VCU, Richmond, Liberty. Um, Liberty, they were undefeated for a long time. Until they lost to LSU, of course. Um, Stephen F. Austin, of course, you know, the probably one of the best wins against the season against Duke. And who knows, they could be an at-large, I don't know. Um, Yale, also, from the Ivy League. Who knows what's going to happen there, because um, Yale's lost a couple of games in Ivy League play. So yeah, that'll break it. That'll basically break it down. Um, the bubble watch anyway. Uh, just wanted to get a college basketball video out this week. I don't think I'm going to do previews for the weekends anymore. Um, I might do one on Friday, but who knows? Because um, we already did the XFL preview and stuff like that. But it's been a, it, it's crunch time. It's crunch time for all of us college basketball fans, and we need to accept that. Um, so let's hope that something great happens, and we'll see you guys in the next video. That's all I can say. So go, go Horns, I guess, if that makes any sense. And yeah, see you guys very, very soon.